but the Jedi aren't supposed to use children as gambling chips. That wouldn't be good for optics. So, as a cover for his gambling addiction, Qui-Gon just had to commit to his choice of gambling using slaves and told the Jedi Council the truth. From a certain point of view, he is the chosen one. Chosen as gambling chip, that is. The boy, then, you must see it. Like, who would have thought that these religious nuts would actually took the bait and believe that this boy is the one who will bring balance to the Force? Which, to be fair, he totally did by deleting the entire order. Empire! Empire? And we ended up with only two Jedi to two Sith. Seems pretty balanced to me. <laughs> Until some wino boy Father help. made Vader grab Palpatine by the balls. No, my boy! <laughs> and threw Palpatine down the reincarnation shaft to confuse future rebellions. Somehow Palpatine returned. And so the balance went out of whack again until a wretched spawn of the dark side of the Force 